Did you ever start a diet or weight loss program and have everything going just fine and have your progress just stall? In this video, I'm going to tell you what starvation mode is and how to avoid it for weight loss. I'm Clint Grimes. For fitness tips and workouts you can use at home, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Let's get started. Why does a very low calorie intake slow down weight loss? Your body goes into starvation mode, a mechanism which is thought to have evolved from our hunter-gatherer ancestors as defense against starvation. This means the body becomes really efficient at making the most of calories it gets from food. It does this to protect fat stores by using lean tissue or muscle for fuel. This leads to a loss of muscle, which slows the metabolism, so you need fewer calories to keep going, and so weight loss slows down. If you're trying to lose weight, holding on to fat is not what you want. How many calories do you need to prevent starvation mode? Unfortunately, there's no single answer to this question. Since everyone's metabolism is different, the point when the body starts to use muscle for fuel in a famine situation differs from person to person. That's why a calorie tracker app like MyFitnessPal works out suitable calorie intakes for each person and optimizes your daily calorie intake. So if you stick to a calorie intake recommended by MyFitnessPal, you can be sure your body won't go into starvation mode. In general, most nutrition experts recommend never going below 1,000 to 1,200 calories a day if you're dieting on your own. Bear in mind that the body doesn't suddenly enter and leave starvation mode. It's not like crossing the international date line or jumping into a swimming pool. It's a very gradual process, so you don't need to panic if you go below your calorie intake every once in a while. Right now you might be asking, what's the link between muscle and metabolism? The rate at which the body burns calories is partly determined by the amount of muscle we have. In general, the more muscle we have, the higher our metabolic rate. The less muscle we have, the lower our metabolic rate. This explains why men who have a higher proportion of muscle than women have higher metabolism than women, and why a 20-year-old has a higher metabolism than a 70-year-old. Again, they have more muscle. Ultimately, muscle burns a lot more calories than fat. So when we lose muscle, our metabolic rate drops and we burn fewer calories. In fact, research shows that the body loses a proportionally high amount of muscle with a very low calorie intake, and this may considerably suppress metabolism up to 45%. This explains why it's crucial to do as much as you can to protect your metabolic rate, especially when you're dieting. And this means dieting sensibly with a moderate rather than a very low calorie intake so that you lose fat rather than muscle. Is there anything you can do to stop losing muscle while you're dieting? Besides making sure that you're getting enough calories to burn fat rather than muscle, it's also possible to build muscle, which boosts your metabolism. The way to do this is to increase the amount of exercise. While cardio such as walking, jogging, and swimming help to tone muscle and burn fat, strength or resistance training will increase the amount of muscle you have in your body. For every one pound of muscle, your body uses an extra 50 calories a day. 10 pounds of muscle will roughly burn 500 calories a day without you doing anything. But doesn't your metabolism drop when you lose weight anyway? Well, yeah, your metabolism slows down a little when you lose weight, but this isn't automatically because you've lost muscle. Since your body is a lot lighter, it needs lower calories. This means if you weighed 180 pounds but now weigh 130, you need less to maintain your weight. There's 50 pounds less of you to haul around, and because your body doesn't need to work so hard, it can survive on fewer calories. This is why you should regularly update your goals and results as your weight drops. Will yo-yo dieting have damaged my metabolism permanently? No! But if you frequently and severely restricted your calorie intake without exercising, you probably have less muscle compared to the first time you dieted. This means your metabolism will also be lower, so you'll need fewer calories to maintain your current weight. When you follow an extremely low calorie diet, you lose muscle as well as fat. But when the weight goes back on, you only regain the fat. This means your metabolism has probably dropped a little every time you've dieted, making it harder to lose weight each time. The good news is you can increase the amount of muscle you have by increasing the amount of resistance training you do. This will rev up your metabolism so that you can lose weight one final time on a slightly higher calorie intake. 
Go to the comments and tell me if you think you've ever been in starvation mode and click on this video to see what foods prevent muscle cramps. Like this video if you like it, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more fitness tips. That's it. That's all. See you next time.